Hello guys, my name is Kautun. Welcome to another tutorial on AutoCAD. Today we are going to learn on how to calculate volume of irregular shapes uh, which are maybe used in constructions or mining. So in this case, we have the we want to calculate the volume of a pit of the bottom of the pit to the first level. So we have the, our diagram here. If we rotate it, you see that uh, our benches or our beams are on different elevations, which means we can use the elevations, then we just uh, change. We will follow the other uh, volume, the other power part that we have. So there are some cases that you might find that uh, you want to calculate volume, but the drawing that you were given, it's on the same elevation, like this one. But you know, like as we know that uh, this is our bottom and this is our top and the elevation difference is 10. So now what we need to do is to make sure that uh, this one is 10 meters above from the bottom one. So you select it, go to properties, then on elevation you want it to be 10 meters above. So we just say 10, then enter, then we close this. After closing and pressing escape, you just check if it's on the correct elevations. In this case, it's okay. So the next step is to select your points and make sure that here it's written close. The should be yes. Then again, you do the same for the top one. Sorry. Then you go here and say yes. You select yes. Then escape. So. After this, what you now need to do is come here to workspace. Then you change your workspace to either 3D or 3D basics or 3D modeling. So we are going to use 3D basics for this tutorial. So from here, uh, you come to loft. That's the command that you want to use, which is on create. So loft uh, helps you to create 3D uh, objects from your 2D. Uh, lines so we select the bottom one then we select the top or uh, top one then from there you just press enter again enter then we have our thing here you can try rotating a little bit as you can see this is what you are having again you can do the same here it just rotate so that you can have a view that you want this one then go to loft again, it's selecting the bottom and the top, then you press enter, right click and enter again, so this is uh, the mesh that you will be having, so let's go to this one which is the easier one, and then you have to uh, change the layers and view, we want to change the view either to, uh, from the 2D to any of the 3D views, we are going to use a 3D conceptual for this one, you select as you can see this is our solid that we have created from here you just uh, type the volume command uh, you just type volume then press enter then it will uh, tell you to select the object this is the object that you want to calculate the volume for then you press right click then you have the volume like this so must prop, uh, press enter to continue then you can press enter then it is continued then it will ask you to uh, for it to write an analysis you can press yes this is in y sometimes if you don't any want the rest of the things you just go back to the uh, first page then you just take a screenshot in this case you want it to pro uh, produce a file so we just say yes then you press uh, enter it will create a file which is uh, zero elevation uh, is taking the name from this one uh, the one that we are creating then you just say save now from saving we can now minimize this the file is now created here we can double click it it will ask uh, which one to use to open we can use op or excel or any other which say excel then we want it to open just once now from our excel this is the uh, volume that you wanted uh, of the solid 
uh, and the mass of the solid. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and continue watching our videos. Thank you.